Okay guys, so I've already done my face off camera. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm putting that on the lid for my eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that in so that I can have a smooth canvas for when I start to apply my eyeshadow. And here I am taking Max Brown Script and I am just taking my blending brush by BH Cosmetics and I am putting that in my crease for my transition color. Going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, I'm taking Dusty Rose and I'm going to put that right up under that brown script using that same brush and blend the two together. Now going back into that same palette, I'm going to use Arbogene in the outer V area and I'm using the brush that was in the palette itself and I'm using the side that's more like a pencil brush and I'm just putting that in the outer V and then I'm going to blend that in using the other side into the other two colors just so that they, there's no harsh lines. Here you just see me blending it all together so that it all flows smoothly. Going in with buttery using a flat shader brush. I am going to put that on my lid. I probably could have used a smaller brush, but either size brush will do. Just use whatever is best for you. This worked fine for me. So yeah, I'm just taking that color and I'm just putting it all over the lid. And then I'm going to go in and using the brush from the palette, I'm going to go in and I'm going to blend all of that in a minute. I'm just going to go in with my Kat Von D liquid liner and the color is Trooper and I'm just going to do a small little wing. Um, you can do it as dramatic as you like or as subtle as you like. Again, this is the back to school look so whatever you feel necessary. I just thought, you know, a little small wing would do but do what you feel but just take whatever liquid liner that you like and just do your liner however you want. Now going in with my uh, Makeup Forever Cold Pencil, I'm just going to go in and water, and water, <laughs> line my waterline. Taking my Their Real Mascara, and that is by Benefits and Scott's. Benefits Cosmetics. I'm having a hard time talking today. Um, my Their Real Mascara by Benefits Cosmetics. And I'm just putting it on my upper and lower lash. Again, I don't really wear lashes just because mine is long enough. And I feel like a lot of the lashes out just look like broomsticks. So, <laughs> I'll just take mine and roll with it. 
going in with NARS Taj Mahal. I'm putting that on my cheeks. This is just a blush. And just put that all over your cheeks. And then going in with the Dual Frenzy Palette or pack, however you want to say it, from NARS as well. Using that gold color and using that as my highlight. I'm going to put that on my cheeks, my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. Going in with Max Beat Lip Pencil. I'm going to take that and I'm going to line my lips. And then I'm also going to fill in my lips with that as well. And then taking Max, Max Lip Glass in, I think it's Water Deeps, I believe. I'll have the product in the bottom and just putting that on the top. And that is all for the face look here. I'm just misting my face. And then now we're going to move on to a simple hairstyle. Nothing fancy. Just, you know, something to go to school for the first day. <laughs> And I just realized I didn't brush out all of my edges, but it's okay. It's still cute. <laughs> and yeah, this is the final back to school look. Something quick, simple, and easy. You can make it as intense as you want, as subtle as you want. You can fix your hair a different way, but I just thought that this would be cute for, you know, high school, first day of college, whatever the case may be. Yeah, just to get you up and out of the door so you guys have your... Have yourselves a great school year. Um, do great in school. Study, study, study as much as you can. And just have an awesome year. See you guys later. Bye.